Seven Wonders is a truly great game with some great artwork and it's just a beautiful game. And if you've ever played it, you know it is a it's a fun game for a bunch of people. Anyway, one of the problems with it is when you open it up, this isn't a problem with the game, it's a problem with the box. Okay, you're gonna see that these things fit in here nicely just as they're supposed to. I put the coins and these little medallions in little boxes and they fit in there nicely too. Put this on top and you are good to go. The only problem is, and, and you can see it, who doesn't play with sleeves? When you put sleeves on these cards, they will no longer nicely fit inside of here without bending the sleeves in some way. So this is something we don't want to do. Anyway, what I did was, you got these sleeves from Mayday, you have to get uh, two packages of uh, uh, 65 by 100 and uh, one millimeter, and they fit just really nicely inside the sleeves, but they no longer fit inside the box. What I was able to get over at Office Max, or Office Depot, one of the two, for three dollars, is this nice little box that the cards fit in very nicely. I've even put inside uh, like a divider so that I can pull out the age one cards. Age two is right there. Age three is under another divider underneath there. But this nice box ain't going to fit inside this box with, with the holder in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out with my X-Acto knife with a box cutter. I'm going to cut out this area here right here so this box will fit in that area all the way down to the bottom with the top on first of all there's a top to this box okay with that top on it's slightly higher and it'll rise over a little bit the, the, the box will be a little bit up in that corner however if I was going to store it you can take this top off and believe it or not, this is almost exactly the right size to fit underneath there. The rule book will cover it to keep them from sliding around. And I think that's going to be nice. I'll tell you what, I'm going to do the cutting. And we'll come back and see if it looks nice. If I were really good at it, it would fit snugly, but I'm not good, so it's going to fit messy. Anyway, that's my plan. Let's see if it works. Okay. We are back. And the deed is done. I cut the hole out as I said I was going to. And we're going to test this under battle conditions. Box with the coins box with little markers for victories and the scorecard. All these nice things here. Here it is with the cards all the way to the top in their sleeves. I'm going to slide this box right in there and it does as I figured it would fit exactly in there. This is a 0.7 liter box from the really useful box company and as you can see it fits almost flush with the rest of the stuff so that when I put the cover on I'm, well first the instruction book and then the cover this will fit nicely on my shelf I can carry it to my friend's house to play the game now, I couldn't put the top back onto that box, but I, well, let's find out. If I shake the box a little bit, and twist it or something like that, and lift it up, oh boy, this is going to be embarrassing if they've rolled all over the place. The answer is no. They fit 
flush on the top here and they didn't come out of that, that box. I even have a little other storage area here. I don't know what I'm going to use for them. Dice, although there's no dice in this game. Anyway, that is my reboxing for sleeves. I wish these game makers would make the slots large enough, assume that you're going to put sleeves on it. Thank you very much.